everyone! How you doing? I really hope you're having a really good day today. So, if y'all like my videos, please consider leaving a like and a comment on my videos because that really helps YouTube algorithm actually notice my videos. I have noticed that a lot of my videos are like hidden by YouTube. So if y'all can do that to help me out, that would be really, really appreciated. Also, if y'all want to catch me live, then join my Twitch channel. All the uh, information is on the description below. So uh, without further ado, let's get started, okay? I think I can try to... There we go! Study little bastards! Oh boy! Okay, I'm gonna draw to heal! Okay, now I gotta heal, gotta heal, gotta heal, gotta heal, gotta heal. I guess I'm doing a pretty good job. At least I hope I am. Magitech Gunship. Hello, Gunship. Alright. Uh, if you're targeted, go to the edge. Yes. Okay, I'll run away like I always do. I'm gonna draw this over, okay? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Also, I am going to region you. All right, and uh... Oh, no, 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 I wanna go, oh. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Oh crap! Oh no! Oh, that edge, 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 edge. Oh god. Uh oh, uh oh. Run, 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 run. Oh god. Ow, 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 ouch, ouch. Okay. I gotta go later. Love you. Take care and later chat. Hey, Mark. Take it easy, buddy. And thanks for joining the stream. It's always awesome to have you here.
I'm a stun, bitch. I'm a stun. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's the, uh, Miss, Miss, no, uh, I'm sorry, Midgar Somer? No, it's two dragons, that is one. Who treadeth now upon my bones? Whoa! And waketh me from slumber. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're talking to me? Are you dead? I mean, you're dead, though. Aren't you dead? Whoa, hello? Oh, I guess you're not dead. Remember, mortal, and fear me. Um, why well, fear you? You do understand that fearing is, fear is not the most powerful thing. Admiration, that's actually pretty powerful. Fear is not the most powerful thing. Wait, when the entire floor turns blue, get under... Yes. Get under the dome. What dome? Well, good luck. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna uh, just fight you like this. Astonishment. Oh, oh no! Oh, okay, okay, hold on. It's gonna. Oh no! 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 Oh, there's more than one. Oh crap! I'm fine. Holy baby! Oh god! No, I can't do holy. Oh good! I gotta keep moving. Boy, they resist stun. Oh crap! Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. Okay. And we're good? Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, that's what they meant. Oh my god, run, 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 run! Oh! Oh god, no, okay. Oh, I can't move. Oh crap. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 
Mirage Dragon. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. How did he get me? Oh, my God. You should have got... No. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Oh, no. He's... Oh, okay. Oh, run away. Run away. Nope. 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 Uh -uh. Okay. It's gonna... Just not... Not... Okay. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. 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 I gotta keep... Oh, my God. No. 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 I gotta keep alive. Oh my goodness. Gotta keep alive. Just gotta keep alive. Just trying to keep alive. Oh. Okay. Nice! I did decently, and I didn't die. It's a freaking miracle. All right then. Whew. Okay then. Oh, nice! I got the. Okay, cool. I can bring up this. Okay. My beach. Hast thou earned a moment's reprieve? Okay, you're talking about the light crystal, right? Speak, mortal, and I shall listen. Okay. Well, the whole I you fear me thing does not work. I'm sorry, buddy, but uh so uh, are you awakening or not because um also i have a lot of questions to ask you i'm pretty sure that iceheart basically told me to speak to you and considering that she also uh, had the echo what is what is the uh what is what was she trying to tell me guided by a star <laughs> Okay. My people have heard the song. Ishgard shall burn. Okay. So why though? Why do you not why do you hate Ishgard? What did they do to you? Sons must answer for their father's misdeeds. Okay. I understand that, but that's not exactly fair because some fathers are complete assholes. Just look at my father. He's a complete doofus. Well, no, he's a crackhead and an asshole. But beside the point, just because of his son does not mean I have to answer for his misdeeds, even though he tried to make me do it. He tried to make me, he tried to use me to answer for his misdeeds. I'm not going to go into all that, but uh, yeah, that's not true. We do not forget. We do not forgive. Okay. What happened though? Forgive- Seven children did I sire. One now singeth of retribution. Oh, so it's actually your child that's actually gonna come and destroy everything. I rise to join in. I see, okay. Um, you're still not explaining what they actually did to you. I thought the Guardians were the ones that killed you. Uh, so what does the Ish Guardians have to do with all this? Thou art powerless to silence us, mortal. Yet thou shalt not live to labor in vain. Thy reprieve is at an end. 
Okay, so I don't want to sell it, y'all. I just want to talk to y'all and maybe, you know, come to an agreement. I didn't come here to do that. I came here. I didn't come here to silence you. I came here to really talk to you and find out what's going on. I'm so confused. Like, why does Iceheart have the echo? Uh, why did she tell me to come here? What did you tell her to make her go what she did? Like, what happened? What, what did the Asgardian forefathers did to you that pissed you off so bad that you cannot forget or forgive them? I have so many questions right now. Oh. Uh, trickery is thy shield. This frail, noble creature is not gifted, but chosen. Oh, okay. So that's the crystal of light. Hearken to me, Hydalin. I remember, and I consent. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. He knows who she is? So wait. Does that make sense then? So did he... I'm so confused. Wait. So apparently he knows who Hylian is. And he consents to her. Which I guess he's on Hylian's side. So he's not a bad primal. Which has to make sense because... Again, Iceland has the echo and told us to come here. Okay. Fear not, mortal. I shall not harm thee. Whoa! What are you doing? Wait! What's going on? Okay. Um, my crystals. Okay, uh... All my power that I've gathered this entire game. What? Wait, what the hell? My crystals! What is he doing to them? Oh my god. They're dead! He destroyed all my crystals! Oh, this is bad. He said he wasn't gonna harm me. He did worse than harm me! He destroyed all my power! You gotta be kidding me. Not only is he destroyed everything. My power, and even as the, the- Oh my god, even the floor itself? <laughs> Mayhap thou thinkest me an oath breaker. What the fuck did you do to me? Do you realize how long it took me to gather all those crystals up? All my power is gone. Literally all of it. Thou art mistaken. If thou comest to harm, it shall be by another's hand, not mine. Really? Because it really does seem like you actually setting me up. You literally are setting me up to die by somebody else's hands. Those crystals were the only power I had to fight the Asians. I, ha I can't fight them now. I sure I had the power of Hydaelyn. I mean, I guess I, I have the Echo still, but the crystals are basically what I used to make the freaking Aether Sword. I can't make the sword no more, nor can I even use the power to do anything else. I did but strip thee of thy mistress's feeble blessing. No, you didn't. What you did is you took all the power I gained. After all the primals I defeated, you took the crystals from each one, including the big old monsters, of course, as well, that also gave me other types of crystals. All my seven crystals are gone! Thou didst profit much by her grace, but no more. 
So he took he took also Holland's power for me too. So it's not just he took everything. So now what? The covenant binds me to thee. Oh, okay. So it's okay. Hold on. So instead of Heidelin, now I have, now basically you're gonna, okay, I'm so confused. So instead of me using Heidelin's power, now I'm bound to Midgard Somer instead. I'm bound to a dragon. I do love dragons. I do love dragons. I'm still kind of pissed off because that was not just Heidelin's power. That was my power I earned throughout the entire game. Fight and struggle, if it be thy will. You better believe it. Even if you took my powers away, I am not going to give up. Okay, I will still protect people. I will still be who I am. The power does not make me who I am. I make me who I am. Man hath ever coveted that which lieth beyond his grasp. But I don't understand how the I drink of her body and thence doth mine own find new life. Wait a second. He took our powers and that basically gave him Oh, I think I see what's happening here. So I didn't know he had the power to literally take Hotline's power away from me. He would be incredibly strong to be able to take the God of Lights, the Goddesses of Lights power away from the Chosen One. Okay, R yeah. So he basically took all my power and now he has all of it pretty much. So he has all the crystals that I had. All the powerless crystals they hold, are they're nothing. They're like those crystals you find uh, in uh, the trees. Unexpected crystals, they're they worth nothing. They're absolutely now worthless, completely worthless. I understand. The dragon song heraldeth a beginning and an end. Well, all my power. All my power is gone. You may summon Midgar Somar by selecting the corresponding entry within your minion guide on the character. And yeah, I'm going to do that, actually. Um, so now I have. Oh, sorry, Nanamo. I'm out to replace you, baby girl. I mean, you're not really Nanamo. I mean, honestly, you're not, but still. Uh, minions, where are you? There you are. Father of Dragons, Keeper of the Lake, Bane of the 14th Legion. While it's difficult to believe the Yomlong Pup could be any of these things, he assures you his current form is only temporary while he waits for the reconstruction of a new corporal vessel. I mean, he already took all my power, so I mean... Wait, I thought I did that already. Hold on. There we are. Wait, did I already... Oh, there we go, okay. Alright, well... All right, Medgar, Solmer. So that's what you are right now. That's literally him, by the way. That big, big old dragon, yeah. He's now, but from our powers, from the powers he took from us, he basically made a new form. That's why he took our powers. He made a brand new form, and, it's, and it, uh, basically, put your mouse over the image of the minion and gives a little secret text. Oh, okay, hold on. Ah. One minion, not okay, okay. Not the big one, the little one. Well, of course, because he's basically uh, 
So what he did was, he took all my power that I gathered the entire game, and he used it to make a little tiny body for himself. So now he can watch everything that I watch. Well, okay. Well, watch me closely. Watch what kind of person I really am. I'm beginning to feel the worst. Were those explosions I saw? Oh, there was more than that. Ah, uh, but you shouldn't waste time talking with me. I've heard left a message stating that you were to return to the Riding Stones at once. Yeah, Riding Stones at once, huh? The big icon? I did do the... Wait. The big icon? Hold on. What are you talking about? The big... Oh, the big icon. Um... Oh. Mid... Uh, Midgar Samoa was a king of all kings who reigned for centuries on in Menphilia. Oh! Oh, okay. Speaking of which, I think I do want to have him with me all the time. So hold on a second. Give me one second, y'all. I need to figure out something. I think it's eight, right? Yes. Okay. Um, and you... I'm going to put you over here. Actually, no. For minions, let's put you over here. There. So now... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I can't do that. Oh. Oh, never mind. Uh, sorry. There. Okay. Wait, what? I don't know you can hover over the picture and Yeah, I didn't know either until recently. All right. Wait, are you dead? He was dead. <sighs> my goodness. All my power now. Create a little tiny dragon now. All gone. Not at all. I, I get it now, though. Hey, Alphanado, you alright, buddy? I mean, I'm not okay. I lost a lot of my power, but uh, that's not important. What's more important, are you okay? Praise the 12 that you are hale and whole. Uh, Alphanod, I'm not whole anymore. Like, a quarter of my, a quarter of me is gone. Came as soon as Minfilia informed me of Sir Imeric's request. You have completed your investigation with the Keeper of the Lake, I take it. Then I would hear your report. Oh, I, oh yeah, well. You converse with Midgar Soma? I swear, were anyone else to make such a claim, I would regard it with considerable skepticism. Oh, that's not all. Oh, that's not all. I've also lost a lot of my power. I understand that the Worm Lord did not perish and has in sooth lain dormant these past 15 years. Less a resurrection and more rejuvenation, for he who dwells in eternity, years passing as moments. Though his words were ambiguous at times, one statement left little room for interpretation. My people have heard the song, Ishgard shall burn. Clearly an attack is imminent. We must share this information with Sir Emmerich immediately. However, we dare not divulge your conversation with Mid Midgar Somer in its entirety. You think acknowledge that you heard the voice of a Dravanian is a grave but necessary risk. Lest we forget, men have been executed as heretics for declaring as such. Slurp. <laughs> For your own protection and for the sake of our tenuous relations with Ishgard, the truth cannot leave us from. As for how we shall present our revelation to Sir Imerek's emissary, you may leave that to me. Pretty main here for now. 
Almost 30k. Is there something you are not telling us, Michael? Yeah! My power is gone! I'm probably just like you now, Minfilia. You don't even have the crystals, I don't think. I probably should have the Echo. Actually, no. I might not have the Echo either anymore. I think he took that away from me, too. You seem different somehow. This almost as you're missing something. Something important. Yeah. 12 for Finn! Midgar Summer strips you of the blessing of the light? Are you alright? How do you feel? Very weak right now, actually. I see. It is a relief to hear that you are otherwise unharmed. It's beggar to believe that any being could possess the power to deprive you of her blessing. Hmm. Midgar Sora made mention of a covenant, did he not? One of the ancient myths regarding Silver Tear Falls states that when the wars came into existence, so too did the Great Worm. Othic and Nymea, Brother Time and Sister Fate, decreed that Midgar Sumer ever watch over the source, from which all water and magic was said to flow. Yeah, we got... Yeah, <laughs> I know. I wonder, what if this was the covenant of which he spoke, and twas not the gods with whom he treated, but Hylian herself? Well, if he is watching over you as he claimed, perhaps you will have an opportunity to ask. Let's keep this matter to ourselves. I do not wish to burn our friends needlessly. Oh, hey! Art thou a pawn of master of thy fate? What hast thou wrought by thy own hands, mortal? Maybe I should give him another voice. He's actually really tiny. So maybe you should have a tinier voice. Nah, I, I'm gonna keep him the deep voice. It feels it feels better. He might be tiny, but I feel like he's still a deep voice. His voice shouldn't have changed. My friend, I can scarce believe it. You confronted the Worm Lord and lived to tell the tale. <laughs> I got neutered. <laughs> I give thanks to Heloni for your preservation. It is our sole cause for gladness. I guess. Okay. Well, I will. Uh, I will definitely uh, change the voice then to. Uh, we can't go Super Saiyan now. Yeah, that really does kind of tick me off. To be honest with you. Your encounter with the Keeper of the Lake served to confirm our fears. A great worm has roared, and it makes little difference if it was one of the two in Eorzea or any other. The Dravanians are coming. I am told that Ishgard has magical defenses against Dravanian attack, though I am not privy to their exact nature. Will they be enough to repel a massive force? Ishgard has weathered countless assaults over centuries. This will be no different. I'm pretty sure, I mean, we have a covenant with uh, Midgard Somer, so I'm, I'm almost certain that there has to be his power now running through our veins. I'm pretty sure a covenant, what that means is we're not no longer taking power from Heidelin, we're taking power from him. If he decides to give it to us. Kind of like Naruto and Kurama. If Kurama decides to give Naruto power, then yes. We'll be, it'll be fine. But if he decides that we are not worthy, then he's going to let us die. Depending on what he said. He says, I am not an oath breaker. I'm not going to kill you. But if you get killed by somebody else, while you, not, while you do not have the blessing of Hydaelyn anymore, that is your problem, not mine. I, t I used your power to create this little vessel for myself so that I may come back, pretty much. Okay? However, you now have a covenant with me, therefore, if I feel like giving you my power, I will. But if I don't feel you're worthy, you can go screw yourself and die somewhere. It's pretty much what he told us, okay? Um, <laughs> kind of sucks, though, because, um, 
Uh, I'd really rather have my crystals back, but okay. <laughs> and now that you have confirmed the threat, none can ignore the Lord Commander's calls for the wards to be strengthened. I dare not presume to speak for him, but I expect the Lord Commander would sing your praises. I must away, but we shall meet again soon. Hope we don't. I really hope we don't. Now, can we tell Alphanol what happened? Like, really? I want Alphanol to know. This assault's weathered, and this will be no different. Why am I not convinced? Alphanol, uh, I do. Uh, yeah, I do have to tell you something, buddy. Um, I'm no longer the powerhouse that I used to be. Um, I'm still gonna do my best, and I am definitely not. Well, yeah, we don't have the echo no more. That's right, we're just normal. We are a normal hero now. So we have no echo, no nothing. All right, so I need to be right back, y'all. I need to take a short break. I'm gonna grab me some food real quick. And I will be back. Um, yep, I'll be back in about uh, 10 to 15 minutes like normal. I'm going to grab me some, some tea because I'm out of drink. Y'all probably heard me sip my uh, empty cup here. So I do need uh, more power. I, I mean more drink. Uh, even without the Echo, we're still strong. Yeah, we're strong adventurer. But without the Echo, Primus can control us. I mean, I wouldn't mind if Garuda controlled me. I, li I still like Garuda. I wish she would talk to me and not be like... A major bitch, but whatever. Um, but uh, beside the point. Uh, but yeah, the problem is we don't, we cannot go our super form. We can also can no longer be, uh, we can't be defended by Highland's power anymore. But again, we have a little dragon that follows anywhere we go. So I guess, what would you rather? A little dragon to follow you everywhere you go, like Spyro or your Super Saiyan powers? Um. <laughs> I don't want to be an ass about this, but I can't regulate my Super Saiyan powers, to be perfectly honest. But anyways, I digress. Um, I will be right back, y'all, so stay tuned. Okay, so let me cast on chat here. Thank you, Ban Ban. Okay, so. Uh, even without the Echo, we are still a strong adventurer. Yes, but Primus can control us now. Um, who knows? Maybe his power is stronger. He was able to take away the Blessers might mean he is stronger. No. That's not true, no. Midgar Summer was tasked by Heidelin to basically be the uh, the overseer of the basically fount of magic. The reason why he could take it away from us, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume, is because he is the closest to Heidelin. Meaning that he has the power to take whose blessings away. He's not more powerful than she is. Then again. Highland is losing her power. It has been said for some odd reason Her power is she's losing it. We don't know why she's losing her power But she is losing her power as time goes on so at some point he could be more powerful than she is The Scardians have warred with the Dravanians for centuries nay nearly 1,000 years in all that time, not once have their enemies breached their defenses and entered the city proper. Yet, regardless of how strong these magical wars may be, I nevertheless fear that these guardians are underestimating the gravity of the situation. Though it was not Miss, Miss I'm sorry, though it was not Midgard Somer who roared, a call to arms by one of the first brood cannot be ignored. Maybe he is not more powerful, but maybe on par or a little weaker, but he seems pretty strong. Yeah, he does. He does. He absolutely does. Until such time as they choose to request our aid, however, we can do naught but observe the situation at a distance and pray that our fears are unfounded. Here I forget, I believe Morin Brida had requested a gallon of the Scions. I assume there had been some progress concerning our efforts to combat the Asians. Pray inform her that our business with the Asgardians is concluded for the moment. I shall be along once I've completed my communications with the Crystal Braves. Well, I mean, 
I no longer have the power to fight the Asians because, you know, I no longer have the power of the Light Crystal, so... Even if she did find anything about that, we're still kind of screwed. I'll know what your talk of dragons. Oh, wonderful, because ACs are next on the menu. Let's head to the solar, shall we? Yeah, let's. At least no one's telling everyone, hey, Michael has no power now. Now that everything's calmed down a bit, relatively speaking, I mean, I thought it might be a good time to share our progress on the weapon. I believe we're on the verge of a breakthrough. Well, don't keep us all in suspense. Just in case anyone's forgotten, let's start by reviewing what we already know. So, an Asian is an immortal because its soul doesn't return to the ethereal realm when its host is defeated. Instead, it flees to the place that lies between our world and the Void. Yes, we, we know this. Therefore, the first step to permanently defeating an Asian is preventing its soul from making this journey. And if you recall, when we last gathered here, I had verified that White Aurasite has adequate capacity to entrap the beings, albeit only briefly. Right. Oh, nice. Which left the small matter of their extermination. Aye. To unmake an Asian soul, one must needs smite it with a concentrated burst, or blade, of purest ether. However, we wanted for both the data and the means to forge such a weapon. Short of experimenting on an actual Asian, you see, there's no way to gauge how much ether its soul is made of. Right, makes sense, okay. As such, we don't know what etheric density our blade needs to have in order for it to work. Make it as dense as possible. Literally, make it as dense as you can. So we'll just have to make the densest blade we can and hope for the best. Though, that would require a lot of ether. I just said that. Hang on a minute! Why didn't we think of this before? White Aurasite can hold an absolute heap of ether, can't it? Yeah, but for a short amount of time. Please tell me you're joking. God's sakes, Ida. I feel as though I'm reliving the same scene over and over with you. How many times do you need to be told that White Aurasite cannot store ether for long periods? Yeah, duh! <laughs> Being intangible matter, ether is given to dispersion. Only in its crystallized form is it a stable source of energy. I will test you later on this, so see to it you do not forget. Okay. Uh, right, yes. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> so our hopes rest on good old crystals again, do they? While they are certainly reliable, they leave something to be desired in the area of portability. Bro. Indeed. I am reminded of the quantity of corrupted crystals required to thwart Leviathan, and the extraordinary lengths to which the Lamentsons went to transport them. What if it should prove that a similar quantity was needed to destroy an Asian soul, or still more? I do not envy the poor sod who has to lug all of that around on the off chance that an Asian appears. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not doing it. <laughs> That's the very problem we set out to solve. And I reckon we've found the answer. If it isn't practical to lug around the ether we need, we'll just have to draw upon another source. Which is... And the only viable source is the land. The land. If you mean to tap the great river of ether, know that it will entail considerable risk. Meddling with the currents may well induce a surge like to the one which despoiled Mordona. 
Okay, yeah, they're now they're messing with the now they're messing with the lands ether. Okay, which is like the live stream at this point. Um, so that's not good. Give me a bit more credit, will you? Why would we need to tap the river when there are veritable reservoirs jutting out all over the land? Wait, you mean the crystals near Mardoa? I, I speak of corrupted crystals. It might be that their aspect is out of balance, but a crystal's a crystal. It contains ether, and we can help ourselves to it. Makes sense, okay. While corrupted crystals are indeed abundant, there is no guarantee that they will be in close proximity at a crucial moment. But what if we don't need them to be? What if we could tap their power from afar? A uh, malm away, say? If we could do that, we'd have ready access to ether aplenty in almost every corner of Eorzea. I've yet to put my theories to the proof, but I've got a good feeling about this. If no one has any objections, I'd like to see where this avenue leads. Here's the problem with that. You're saying a mom away. One mom is not very, it's not a very long distance. And I know this from, uh, I don't know, uh, being a botanist and having to actually go a few more. Actually, hold on. Wait. A mom away. I remember mean, getting confused with a yom. The Y A L M must be a smaller amount than an M A L M, a mom. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. But a mom must be way bigger than yom's, which means, okay, maybe it might work. If you think it's worth your while, you have my blessing. But tell us, what are your theories? I, for one, am most eager to understand the process, however vaguely. I thought you might say that, but no one wants to listen to boring old theories all day, do they? I know I don't. So with your permission, I'd like to try something a bit more hands-on. I've already built an etheric siphon especially for this purpose, and I've been meaning to try it out. Oh, okay, mom is like a meter and yom is like yards. Okay, got it. That makes sense. Thing is, the profusion of corrupted crystals in Mordona makes it something of a high-risk testing ground. If anything goes awry with the siphon, it would be better if it didn't happen within spitting distance of quite so much ether. Ideally, I need an isolated specimen. Does anyone know where I can find one? May I suggest Northern Thanalan? There you will find corrupted crystals of middling size, standing a reasonable distance apart. Ideal for your needs, I should have thought. Oh, and if you do elect to visit the place, I should be much obliged if you would assist me in another matter while you are in the area. Has something happened? Well, you know, Alpha Nod, anything for you, buddy. Movement has been observed at Castrum Meridianum. Oh, that's not good! That's really bad! During Operation Archon, the Alliance dealt the stronghold a heavy blow. Its facilities were extensively damaged, and its garrison reduced to a fraction of its former strength. Not long after our forces withdrew, however, their ranks were replenished by reinforcements from Castrum Sentry. They now seek to rebuild, and to this end, they have their sights set upon the Ceruleum Processing Plant. Uh-oh. Having lost the Empire's support, the 14th Legion lacks the resources to sustain itself. To them, this is a bid for survival, and they will doubtless fight like desperate men. Well, um, all we could do now is destroy them, unfortunately, because they won't give up. Though I have dispatched the Crystal Braves, I fear their strength alone may not suffice to stay the Imperial Assault. I would request the Scion's aid in the defensive effort. Oh, well, if we're not finding a primal, I think I can probably deal with them. Although I feel a lot weaker than I did before. But I'm here for you, Alphanod. You know that. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to inveigle us into fighting your battle with the promise of shiny crystals. Well then, consider me inveigled. I won't lie, the crystals you speak of sound perfect, so the Garlians have to go. <laughs> well, that's without, without saying the Garlians have to go. Besides, we can't afford to beat about the bush. 
There's no telling when the Arsians will next appear. Arsians, not Asians, Arsians. Okay. Thine eagerness to hurl thyself into the jaws of danger cometh as little surprise. Exercise due caution, I prithee. Though you have become a crystal brave, you are yet a scion, Alfino. We could hardly refuse you. Even if y'all, even if y'all did refuse him, it wouldn't even matter. Literally, I would go be the first one. Like, I would be the first one to follow him. Okay, even if y'all never did, I don't care if I lost my powers or not. I don't care if I have the echo or not. I am still who I am, and I will still follow him anywhere he goes. Um, and he tell me to go. You say it better. Oh, do I? Okay. Pray, join the Crystal Braves and lend them your support. Thancred and Papa Limo shall accompany you. Oh, Thancred? Okay, okay, okay! Okay, I want to see Thancred fight again. Did you learn anything new from, uh, yeah, Yuguri? In the meantime, I would have you assist Moon Breeder. Scout out the crystal clusters, that the testing may commence as soon as the Galian threat has been eliminated. You say it better to Asians? Okay. <laughs> if it please you, I shall continue mine own experiments on white orosite. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. <laughs> Thank you, Arianger. Everyone, pray see to your preparations and depart as soon as you're able. Go well and be safe. I feel like Yoranger is like, he doesn't want to be around anyone. He wants to be by himself. He wants to do his own experiments. Just leave him alone and he'll get his work done. That's, I feel like that's the kind of guy he is. Oh, I'm the last one there. Of course I am. Okay. Ah, Alpha Nod. Hello, buddy. I thought it would seem that the events have once more conspired to rob us of rest and recuperation. Though I would wish it otherwise, I must ask that you head straight away to the processing plant. The fourth have already deployed to the area and await the arrival of the Scions. While Red will, I'm oh, no, sorry, Will Red will brief you on the developing situation. Meanwhile, I must read, read uh, that. Redena, that. Redena Vu with Captain Ilbert at our headquarters in Uda. I shall take a command of our forces there and have a, with a lighter heart, knowing that you go to support the front lines. Of course. I'm at your, I'm at your disposal. Your duties take you to Northern Thailand, do they not? We too must say our farewells to the Ryan Stones for a time. Philminen travels to Uda, and we shall serve as her escort. At my daughter's behest, I got to go contact a certain old acquaintances in the Gilded City. We are best on all sides by civil unrest and imperial machinations. During my prime, I was in trouble by dragons. We need all the allies we can muster. Many of my friends hold power, positions of power, you see, and it's my hope that they can be convinced to aid the science cause. If past events have taught us anything, then we know that Eorzea, Eorzea must prevent a united front or we shall fall. Ah, how extraordinary that my little Acilia is involved in such far-reaching affairs. I'm very proud that I might now stand at her side, not only as a mother, but also as a colleague. A colleague with influential, I'm sorry, a colleague with influential connections. But I fear Uda has become a place of danger, even for one so familiar with our streets. Seventeen more main quests. <laughs> I should be well protected, it seems. Should be on our way then. You know what? She's got some pretty, uh, some pretty shiny brown boots. I do like those leather brown boots. I really do. Okay. 
Well, we still have another whole other hour uh, to do the main quest. I don't know how long I'm being able to do it, but I'm gonna try to. Uh, I'm gonna try to go as, as long as I can. Thanalan, okay. Oh, Northern Thanalan. Oh, let's try to take this place over. Oh, I remember this place. Oh, that's a big mistake. They're not taking this place over. Commander Levior sent word that you'd be coming. A veteran of your town is most welcome. Not that I don't think we can handle can handle what no. Not that I don't think we can handle the situation, mind you. I've learned a trick or two says that a zath through the Alma Jaw. Return to the task at hand, though. The Flames Recon Scouts have reported Imperial Swords assembling at Rubon's push. Such a force is likely interested in only one thing. Getting their hands on the resources found here at the processing plant. The Garleans could begin marching on us at any time. Pray speak with Lieutenant Eld Eldenstein that we might coordinate our counter strategy. In the meantime, I'll inform the others that you have arrived. No doubt it will be welcome tidings. Sure, no problem. Sergeant Bertusi, my swords yet tell tales of the deeds during Operation Archon. Would that we should sit a while and remiss by old times, but I fear more pressing matters require our attention. The civilian draughtmen you see have come across several highly suspicious crates within the boundaries of the processing plant, and my sappers take a closer look and our worst fears were confirmed. These boxes contain pile of explosive devices, devices of imperial design no less. By my order, the flame stations here are conducting a thorough sweep of the camp as we speak. Though it troubles me that we were unable to apprehend the Imperial spy, behind this, I have faith that our men will able to I'm sorry. I have faith that our men will be able to neutralize the threat for now. In the meantime, our scouts bring troubling news on the latest movements of the Imperial Army. I would once ask again your aid. Sure, I'm here to help. I'm keeping a close eye on that Garlean garrison, and that would seem that the Imperials have finally begun to mobilize. According to Reconnaissance report that just came in, the squads seen leaving the Castrum are too few in number to effectively take and hold our position. They will oddly mount a swift assault and focus on acquisition of resources. I have, of course, shared this report with the Crystal Braves. They decided to take to the field to meet this assault head on. I praise your fellow scientists in this situation. Now I'm hard enough, they will begin joining the effort. Great port to Lieutenant Aline and lend your much welcome strength to their counteroffensive. Well, let's see how powerful we are. Why can I not move? Okay. Alrighty then. So, this looks like it's gonna be a good spot to stop for right now. And I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. And once again, thank y'all so much for watching, and y'all have an awesome rest of y'all night. See you later. Ciao!